Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and today we're going to go through the initial setup of the Synology NAS DS 216 Plus 2. Hey, welcome back everybody. In my first Synology video that I did last week, I unboxed the DS216 Plus 2 and installed two 4 terabyte Western Digital Red Drives. In today's video, I just want to get through the initial setup and configuration process. So a few moments ago, I connected the NAS to my network and powered it up for the very first time. It took about 60 seconds for the device to initialize. Now that it's ready to be configured, to locate the NAS on my network, I have a couple of different options. In the quick start guide that came along with the device, two options it suggests is go to find.synology.com to use Synology's web assistant to locate the NAS on your network, or you can use http colon slash slash disk station colon 5000, or if you know the IP address of your NAS that was assigned by the DHCP server, you can use the IP address followed by colon 5000. So to get started, let's point my browser to find.synology.com. I'll just use Synology's web assistant. And there you go. So the web assistant found the disk station. It shows the model name, the IP address, the MAC address, and the current status of not installed. So let's go ahead and begin the process. Let's click connect. Welcome, and we're going to click on Setup. And it says here, Install Disk Station Manager. Yes, and that's what we want to do. So we're going to say Install Now. And it gives you a warning. It says, All data on the hard disks 1, 2 will be removed during the installation. Are you sure you want to proceed? And I'm going to check. I understand that all data on these hard disks will be removed. And we're going to say OK to proceed. Now it says, your disk station will be ready in approximately 10 minutes. Please don't turn off the power during the procedure. If this web page is unexpectedly refreshed or closed, please log into your DS216 Plus 2 again as admin and leave the password blank. Okay, so I'm going to come back once the uh, DSM has been installed and we'll continue from there. The DSM installation is complete. The NAS restarted. The whole process took about four minutes. Now we can continue with the setup process. So the first thing we need to do is create our administrator account. So I'm going to go through that now. So I'm going to call this home NAS. And I'll give it a username and a password. OK, and now here it says, share the network location of your disk station with Synology to help you easily reach your disk station in the local network via findsynology.com. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that for now and go ahead and say next. And it's creating the administrator account as we speak. Congratulations, you have set up the administrator account. Please complete the following steps with this account. So let's go ahead and say next. DSM update and maintenance. Protect your disk station and important data. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose the first one, which is install the latest DSM version automatically. Installation schedule Tuesday, Saturday, and that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and leave it to run smart test to check the health of my hard drive and enable bad sector warnings for the device. And the defaults are fine. Let's go ahead and say next. Set up a quick connect account. Quick Connect makes it easy to access your Synology DS216 Plus 2 without port forwarding. <sighs> Let's see. I'm probably going to port forward and set up some rules so I can access this remotely, but also to make it easy uh, for those of you out there that don't want to go ahead with port forwarding, let's give this a Quick Connect account as well. So let me put my information in. Okay, we're going to create the quick, quick Connect account with a new Synology account since this is my first Synology product. Let's go ahead and say Next.
Quick Connect is ready, you can now access your Synology DS216 plus two with the following address. Okay, so let's go on and say next. Install Synology's recommended packages. That's fine for now. I'm just gonna do the basic install, the recommended. By confirming the installation, you agreed to be bound by the terms of service. Please read them carefully. Of course, I have read them. We're gonna say, okay. You're all set. Let's take a quick guided tour of DSM. Let's say go. Okay, so we have a browser interface and we have a set of tips. So tip one, access all built-in and installed packages from the main menu. Tip two, package center, discover more applications at the package center. Tip three, more settings are available at the control panel. So we're gonna investigate all of these guys. We have a help. So we're going to just say okay to that. We have a status bar here. It says system health, green check mark. Good, your disk station is working well. It shows the server name, the IP address, the resource monitor is showing the CPU usage and the RAM usage. So as I learn more about this device, I'll do more videos and share. It's my first Synology NAS. So I have a lot to learn and I'm excited to uh, see what this device has to offer. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like, please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.